This is the uh, last page we finished last time. Uh, after full wave uh, rectifier, you have uh, this as uh, your result of uh, a sine wave. And this uh, full wave can be uh, described by this uh, equation in mathematics. Uh, there is uh, a DC component there. Yeah? There are many uh, harmonics. There's uh, many uh, high frequency um, cosine waves. So with a four wave rectifier, we can work with a very small signal because we use uh, all pump. A low pass filter is needed to remove those uh, signals. We, we need to remove the, all those so that we keep this uh, DC signal, this uh, remaining DC signal two, two pi, because here is a four that is a two, you cancel each other, you have a two pi, two A divided by pi. Now from this uh, result, uh, you can see um, your DC signal is a proportional to um, sine wave amplitude. Uh, this result obviously doesn't uh, contain phase angle information. That means your phase angle information is completely lost. Uh, sometimes uh, you, you need uh, phase angle information. Um, there are two different types. Uh, one is by making of a switch, uh, the, the other type is by making use of a multiplier um, to make a phase sensitive uh, demodulator. This type in principle is uh, simpler and the, the performance is better than the other type. The disadvantage of this type is the multiplier, analog multiplier is a relatively expensive. For example, now, if you use a MPY, if you use a MPY634, now if you check a RS a website, you can see this device, it costs more than 20 pounds, nearly 30 pounds each chip. So this type, is based on analog multiplier. The principle is very simple. Let's see what is the principle. If we have a multiplier here, you have, that is a signal you need to, to measure. That is a signal, is a reference. The, both sine wave, we consider this sine wave is a zero degree in phase angle. That is saying omega t. That is a signal you need to measure. That is saying omega t plus alpha. That is a phase angle. So after it times those two signals together, if you check your mathematics table, you can get A, B, that is amplitude there. You have two components. One is cosine alpha. The other one is cosine two omega t plus alpha. So obviously, this is a DC component. Uh, here is a DC, that is a AC. Uh, basically, you just have uh, two uh, components. So in this uh, diagram, uh, VI is here, is a sine wave signal to be demodulated as an input. VF is here, is a reference sine wave as another input. VO is output, that is VO. Uh, if we uh, uh, use a low pass filter to follow, we can get rid of a high frequency. Right? This part disappeared. Uh, that is AC signal. After low pass filter, we get uh, get rid of high frequency components. Um, um, later, we will have uh, one video about uh, low pass filter. So if uh, Get rid of this part, we have a DC component left, that is AB divided by two times cosine alpha. So remember alpha here, that is a constant. So that is your, your phase angle. It's not constant, but this is not uh, make your signal. That 
that is a certain figure so that this component is DC. So this is a DC signal. This uh, that result here indicates the output is a function of uh, amplitude here. Uh, that is fixed. B is fixed because this is a reference. Uh, also function of alpha. The uh, alpha is your signal uh, phase angle. Now, if we consider four cases, four typical cases or special cases, this equation, you can see this equation here. Right. If alpha is a zero, uh, if you use your calculator, you can work out cosine zero is a zero. So V O, uh, uh, um, if this is a zero, cosine alpha is one. Uh, this is one. Now uh, you have A, B divided by two left. If cosine alpha is 90 degree, uh, cosine alpha, uh, alpha is 90 degree, cosine alpha is a zero. So this V out is a zero. If alpha is 180, you have a minus A, B divided by two. If this is 270, this is a zero. All right, that is a, a multiplier-based phase-sensitive demodulator. Because the time is limited, uh, otherwise I can give you a much longer time to explain uh, how this uh, works, what wave, uh, waveform look like, uh, what is uh, uh, here I just mentioned, the, what is the advantage is immune to all harmonics. I don't have time to explain to you why this type of uh, multiplier based phase sensitive demodulator is immune to all harmonics. Um, uh, because of, uh, again, because of a uh, time limit. The main disadvantage is this device is uh, expensive. All right, I mentioned you uh, either you use a uh, rectifier or use a uh, phase sensitive uh, demodulator, you need a uh, low pass filter to get rid of uh, uh, high frequency harmonics. Uh, that is uh, a simple uh, low pass filter. It look like uh, like uh, inverting amplifier. Uh, that is uh, input part. This is a feedback part. Uh, indeed, this is uh, quite um, uh, in some way. This is uh, it is an inverting amplifier. Therefore, we can uh, we can use um, previous knowledge to write down. What is the output uh, V0? So V0 equals minus this block divided by this, and then times VI. Uh, now we talk about uh, AC signal. The only difference from previous uh, discussion is with the uh, AC, this um, capacitor, this uh, capacitor, now. Uh, the impedance of this capacitor is one over J omega C. Uh, this is a two. That is the only difference. Right. Uh, you may uh, wonder where this result come from. Uh, I did uh, explain in the past, uh, because now we need to add uh, more and more different subjects. I have to cut my uh, teaching notes. I just uh, tell you this is what you need uh, to know. With the AC signal, this uh, impedance of uh, capacitance capacitor is one over J omega C two. Uh, now, now we can make use uh, of uh, previous uh, knowledge how we can work out uh, the this uh, V zero. At first, we consider here is in parallel. Uh, what we can do, this is R2 times one over J omega C2 divided by R2 plus one over J omega C2. And that is a combined impedance. 
And then we divide by this, divide by R1. That is, um, let's consider this is the gain of this uh, uh, inverting amplifier. Of course, we have the minus sign in front. So this, uh, this, if I move here, that is uh, your output. So V0 equals this block divided by R1. Right, this uh, structure is same as inverting amplifier with uh, a sine wave signal as input. Reactance of capacitor is one over J omega C. Uh, that is a fundamental. Where omega is the uh, angular frequency and uh, omega equals two pi F. F is the uh, frequency. Now we can work out the uh, feedback impedance with R2 and uh, C2 as uh, that, that is uh, exactly what I wrote uh, here. That is this. Uh, we can go a little bit further if we times J omega C on top and bottom. Uh, we can simplify a little bit like this. So now the transfer function is VO divided by VI equals minus this divided by R1. Uh, we move uh, slightly move uh, to a different uh, format. This uh, minus R2 over R1, one over J omega C R2 plus one. Oh, that is a low pass filter, uh, the transfer function. Now for us, what we uh, are concerned is uh, amplitude response. Uh, to work out uh, amplitude, you need to uh, take uh, absolute. If we take uh, absolute, if we take uh, absolute uh, here, that is absolute. Uh, how can we uh, work out? This equals, uh, once you take uh, absolute, the manner sign disappeared, you have R2 over R1. On top, this will keep the same. In bottom, here is a little bit uh, tricky. There are two components. One is uh, this, this, they call the J, and here is a uh, real part. This uh, is an uh, imaginary part. Uh, this is a real part. If I write down here, this is a real, and this is an imaginary. Imaginary. Right. Um, I don't have uh, much time to explain what is real, what is imaginary, but to find out the amplitude of this, uh, this part, what we do is this part, omega CR2 square plus one square, and then take a root square. So that is a way to work out the amplitude with uh, imaginary part with the uh, real part. So that is a result there. And that's uh, the same, it's the same result. So this is the amplitude uh, response. Right. Uh, okay, I, I stop here and see how many minutes. <laughs> 